day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hallelujah. All right, saints, I just want to say this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. It's a glorious day. It's a praise worshiping day. Uh, this is the first week, first day of the week. So we call it uh, Sunday. I know some people uh, believe that it's, 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 it's all about whether you, you know, the, the Sabbath day, you're supposed to just worship on Sabbath day, you, you should worship daily, really. You should worship daily. And you should rest. <laughs> God said you need to rest. You, you need rest. All of us need rest. So uh, rest, uh, uh, take a day out of the week to rest, because some people have to work doing the, uh, on a Sunday, some people got shift work and everything else, but just just find that whenever they give you a day off, take it because you need that rest. That's what God wanted for. That the uh, Sabbath was made for man to rest and you rest the way you feel that you need to rest. Amen? Uh, but, you know, I wanted to, 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 to start off the day talking about the importance of of uh, loving one another. You know, I, I used to say, I, I do still say in the TikTok about, have you checked your fruit today? And and when I said check your fruit today, we're talking about the Holy Spirit characteristics of the Holy Spirit being manifested in you as a believer, or you that's not a believer. You know, the fact is that we do have good and struggles of evil, whether you're a believer or not a believer, you got the struggles that you have to deal with, the temptations you have to deal with. Uh, so so the whole focus of, of, of our belief, uh, and we believe it because of our Savior, uh, Yahshua, which is also called Jesus in English, Yahshua in Hebrew, meaning Savior, is to when the Holy, once we receive our salvation, then there's a Holy Spirit that 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 rests on us, indwell in us, and how allows us to allow his characteristics to be manifested through us. The fruits of the spirit, which is found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And that's where we really got to get to that point of, of recognizing that there is no law. And most people really like to hang around people that has love. <laughs> that I, I, I know there's nobody want to hang around people that has hate. Regardless of how we want to sit there and toss and turn it around and what, we don't care about people that have hate. Uh, we love, joy. We, we really don't care about people that's walking around sad, depressed, angry. We, we, you know, you don't, you don't really have that desire to be around those type of people. And the sad people, we want to build them up with that joy. And let them know it's the joy of the Lord is your strength. It's the power of the Holy Spirit dwelling in you that the joy of the Lord is your strength. That strengthens you in the midst of the trials that we have. We all have different trials. You know, some people, uh, we're going to pray about Ukraine and so forth. It's the fact that there's a lot of things that we have to work on. But that love, joy, peace. You know, you don't want to be around people with turmoil and, and anger all the time. I mean, I mean, I know that that's, that's what some people find their strength from. But reality is it's not sustainable and it burns you up. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance, which is self-control. Against us, there's no law. We, we want to be around people that have self-control. We really don't want to be around people that, that sit there and are out of control. 
right? We want to be around people that are in control. Uh, so so I, I want to be able to talk this morning. Uh, and I'll show you this title. Uh, but I'm going to give you some background with it. But we're going to pray first. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Yahshua. For those who don't know Yahshua, we come in the name of Jesus. And what Jesus means, Yahshua means our Savior. It, 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 there, there's, God says that there is no Savior but Him. So we're talking about God Almighty is our Savior, our Deliverer, our Redeemer. Huh? Is the blood of Yahshua. Huh? If you don't know, like I said, if you don't know who Yahshua is, we're talking Jesus. We're talking in Hebrew, Yahshua. We're talking in English, Jesus. We're talking about the power of the anointed one in our life to come in the midst of us. You said when two or three are gathered in your name, you be in the midst of them. We now invite and receive the power, the anointing, the presence of the Holy Spirit. Move us out of the way. Let the Holy Spirit have his way. Lead us and guide us in all truth so that we can do that with the subject in that sight. I thank you for what you're doing. And I praise your holy name for being with us. Guide us and allow the word that you want shared to be shared and manifested in our lives. In Yahshua's name, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. And I, and I said those, I said in the twine because, you know, we, most of us in English, we grew up with the name of, of Jesus. Uh, I just want to make sure you know what it means. That's your deliverer, huh? Yahshua is your deliverer. That, that, that's when you call it, that's what it means, salvation, deliver, redeemer. So when you say Jesus, you need to know you're talking about your savior, you're talking about your redeemer, you're talking about the deliverer. That's important because that's where the power is the meaning of the name is where your power comes from, amen? And, and one of the things that uh, I, I wanted to talk about uh, today, and, and I, I'll put this, uh, let me put this little subject up here because uh, I think it's important to share. It said, why be man pleasers if you never want to know God? I'm, I'm putting that in there because I think it's important for us to understand that we need every individual, every individual, listen to me, every individual needs to develop a personal relationship with God, personal relationship with Yeshua, Jesus, amen? Personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. We all need to, to have that relationship with him. Uh, and, and, and why is it important? It's important because one of the scriptures we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the fact is that there were some people who came up and said, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name? And God said, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work as inequity. I never knew you. Think about that. You don't want, I don't want, and, and that's what ministries was equipped the saints to do the work in the ministry. Well, one of the work is to believe that he said his savior, huh? He sent himself. You know, I know that was so, so, well, I'm gonna tell you something. I think we'd rather have him sending himself because if we sit there and just try to talk about and select people, we all recognize that we have issues with one another. And the sense of saying is, I, you, ain't, you, I ain't, you ain't my savior. But the fact is the fact that God sent himself. Woo, come on now. That makes a difference. He sent, his anointed, huh? His only begotten, huh? Only begotten. Because he sent himself. And you, me, we need to get to know him because that is what is what he wants to be able to say to you. And you want you don't want to hear him say, I never knew you. You don't want that. You I don't think anybody wants to hear. God say, I never knew you. And, and the reason I want to talk about that today is, and the reason I put down about being a man pleaser is that I see, man, we're so embedded and entrenched 
where, and I'm not, not everybody, but a lot of people better, when you talk about racism, and I'm talking about what are you talking about? White supremacy, black supremacy, when you talk about homophobia, when you talk about uh, uh, nationalism uh, or, or, or legalism, <laughs> even legalism. What do you mean legalism? It's the fact that there are many, some people want to go, sit, go back to the, say we must do the law, and then they become, they readily recognize or not, they become enforcers of the law, and you can't enforce nobody. And you don't want to be like the Sadducees and the Pharisees that when this when when Yahshua showed up, they could not recognize the Yahshua, the anointed one, because of their traditions and because they were legalistic or legal minded. That I mean, and we're talking and look, look. And this is what some one of my buddies talk about today. If I, uh, the other day talking about the Sabbath thing, you know, where they if they could come up there and, and and find any one thing, they they can point out. They can point out some other things, but the other things are hidden, right? They're going to say that the, the, follow the law, the Sabbath day. You gotta you gotta worship on the Sabbath day, where the Bible said to rest on the Sabbath day. And then say, well, no, no, there's a part in there talking about the holy convocation. Well, I'm talking about the original sin that says to rest. God rested from all his works. And if you if you think about it, if you if the Sabbath day of rest, then the people who does work in the temple, are they doing they, they are they resting? They're working. Huh? And we and then we're talking about we don't have people, we don't have priests that do the things in the temple. We don't have a temple. Uh we don't have it. Gentile, we never had it anyway. Uh, if if we if if we are descendants based on the black Hebrews, then then we talk about the temple again. In fact, it's not there. Uh, and it will be built again, though. And that's a that's a good indicator when that's built again. Look out! Look out! <laughs> anyway, the 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 they'll say is that you you're supposed to go. You know, they're looking at they forget about the rest part. They're looking at the fact that you can go worship uh, on that day when you both have a holy convocation. We have, which we do. We have people have Bible studies, should have Bible studies throughout the week. You should, in prayer, that's a holy convocation, you know, and fellowshipping in the hallways and, and so forth and talking about the word on the phone. That's holy convocations. That's getting together to, to with the whole purpose of worshiping God. Uh, and knowing him, okay, okay. So, but there are some people be legalism. They they, they, have, they have said, nope, you got to do it this way. And if you don't do it that way, you're not saved. And see all that stuff. And that's why they couldn't they couldn't receive Jesus. Got mad because because Christ healed somebody, healed some people on the Sabbath day. Got mad. Had a lady that was sitting there, had an issue of blood for 17, 18 years, and 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 they was mad because he healed her on the Sabbath day. Now, some people said, well, you know, like I said, legalism be like, I don't care. Because obviously the, the, the Jews and the Pharisees didn't care about that healing. You know? They they said, I don't care how long she's been sick. For 17 years, 18 years, whatever, we don't care. Do that come to be healed on any other day except on the Sabbath day. That's what legalism does. Legalism has no emotions. Legalism have no leeway. It's black or white. Even when they sit there, and that's the sad thing about it, is they sit there and still violate it themselves. Christ even said, which one of you will not go if your if your if your goat or your cow? Or uh, one of your animals fall in a ditch, would not go in that ditch or fall or fall in a pit, would not go in that pit and get them out on the Sabbath day. And and why wouldn't a daughter of Israel who's been in infirmity and sick for so many years 
not what it, why would it be wrong to heal that person on the Sabbath day? Why would it be wrong to heal the man that had his hand was was all uh, infirmities in his hands and 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 Jesus stretch out your hands and and the man was made whole and and yet you you got people that legalistic people who say that's wrong and then we bring it up to this uh 2022 uh you have people that 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 are uh, fault finders because of your you go in the club or you you dancing you know what i mean that's legalism all the type of things so you act like you can't you can't you can't have and see the people say that they want to have fun legalism says that we well, only have fun a certain way you can't sing to the you know like you play music talking about they're talking, you're dancing to the devil you know what I, mean? I mean that's legalism no compassion no mercy that's what that's what legalism does no compassion no mercy it's just straight up uh you don't do it it's wrong and you're going to hell you know what i mean sending people to hell don't and, and and what i want to say about being a man please is so many of us because of legalism more than anything else it brings all the other isms in there you know the racism the 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 supremacyism the the homophobia so you hate somebody because they're homophobia or something like that you know you you you, you hate because they, they they some people do abortion some people don't want to do abortion all these type of things and we turn on each other listen to what i'm saying we turn on each other we hate one another if we don't do it our way their way you know not god's way but their way meaning they have to be legalistic and they and you don't do it that way i don't want to have nothing to do with you and 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 if that's what christ didn't do that did you know the only people that i saw you know i'm talking about when christ walked because see you gotta remember jesus yahshua this is john's uh 14 6 said listen to i am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but through me but by me he said that i am the way i am the truth i am the life no one comes to the father but by but by me we'll sit there and we will run with the, and what i'm saying is you this this is this is this is the point and paul said it too you're not of apollo you're not of paul but you are of christ and if Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, then you go and do and operate the way he operated. You, you can sit there, you can deep all you want and say, no, I'm operating, I'm a Paulinian. You are a, well, then you go ahead, because Paul didn't die on the cross for you. Paul will tell you that Christ is the way. So you, you can get deep and say, well, Paul told people put the man out. So now you now you took that and run with everything that you don't like, everything you don't agree with. You're gonna put a person out, or you're gonna walk away because the person is not operating the way you think they should be. Some people get offended, and I, oh, matter of fact, that's funny too because I, I, I'm going somewhere. But my point is this.